We're going to start over from the beginning. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is going to be fun. Jay Feldy with the gift bomb. Thank you for that, man. We also have Cifrino and The Maze with the 11 and two months of support. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank, and I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. This is Hogsport, and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. Beginning career as a hospital administrator, learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? Why, yes. Yes, I am. First things first, you'll probably want to have a look around. To move around the hospital, hold the right mouse button and drag. Move the cursor to the edge of the screen or use Wasset. Also, you can uh, also zoom with the mouse wheel and rotate pitch with the middle mouse button. Try to look around the building. Hold the right mouse button and drag to move the ground. Okay. This music. The first thing the hospital will need is a reception. Patients will head there when they first arrive at the hospital. Let's build a reception desk near the entrance. Hold left mouse button and drag left or right to rotate. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, let's have them register right when they come in. Bam. Centaur Fi with the 10 gift bomb. Thank you for that, man. Really appreciate it. Ice Cold Frozen TT News with the 42 months. Johnny Rook with the two years. And Orchid Glad you didn't see with the three months. Thank you for that, dudes. Thank you, thank you. Great, we'll need an assistant to run reception. Let's hire one now. Click the hire button to select assistance to view job applications. Whoa. Click, uh, select a job applicant, then click on the hire button. Drop them near the reception by left clicking. Increase speed and efficiency by 10%. Let's do Mabel Corruption. <laughs> Motivated Unhygienic. Has a bad feeling about this. Wants more money. Embarrassed by who they are. Oh, Lord. Um, okay. What about Hank Rancid? Unmotivated. Gets toilet rage. Believes they have psychic powers. Um, oh God. <laughs> oh, we have to drop them near there. Okay. Boop. Before we officially open, we need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnosis. Uh, the GP will assess patients and decide if they are ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. Let's build a GP office now. To build a room, click on the Rooms button and click one from the list. With the room selected, drag out a floor plan of the appropriate size, then place the required items in the room. Click on the room, then click GP's office. Drag out a floor plan, a minimum of 3x3. Three three. Place a door, office desk, and filing cabinet. Okay, there's 
the GP's office. We'll pop it right there. Let's make it 4-4. Four, four. Actually, 3-3 three, three is fine. You're listening to Nigel Bickleworth. On Two Point Radio. Welcome back to your favorite radio station with the vastly overqualified Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication Monsieur. to your drab little lives. Should any of you have any requests for popular tunes, as I believe people like to call them, do not hesitate to depress that impulse. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is gonna be just fine. <laughs> All right, now we need the green tick. Wait, what do we get? A door, office desk, and filing cabinet. Okay. Oh, up here. Boop. Yeah. Excellent. Now we'll need a doctor to run the GP's office. Hire one now. Office is facing the wrong way. Oh, it is. Oh, dude, they made that so easy. Oh, that was so easy. That'd be great. Awesome. All right, now we need to hire a doctor. What is all this? Wow, dude, this guy's really good. He's hangry though. Becomes nasty when hungry and drops litter around the hospital. Well, you're the worst. Ooh, we'll do it anyway. Good news! Our hospital is now open for business. Patients are starting to arrive. After they register at reception, they'll be sent to the GP for diagnosis. Patients found violated hospital policy. Zoom in and out using the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Hold middle mouse button and move the camera left and right to pitch the view. Hold middle mouse button and move the camera up and down. Oh, that's cool. Wow. This is so weird because I remember playing this from like Theme Hospital. And now this is like Theme Hospital. 2000. <laughs> this is so cool. Music's a little bit loud. Okay, we can lower that. We're supposed to lower the sound a little bit. There we go. Oh, we got a dude! We've diagnosed our first patient. The GP has sent you a message. Have a look at the message list in the bottom right. It looks like we'll need to build a pharmacy to treat the patient. Our doctor has discovered a new illness, grout. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication is effective, unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. The patient is seeking treatment. We will need a pharmacy in order to treat them. It will cost 7,600 to build. Would you like to do that? Get patient to wait. Build a pharmacy and hire a nurse. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, so space pauses it. That's great. So we'll pause it. And now we'll build a pharmacy. Um, back here, maybe? Sure. What, what is that thing? Uh, what else do I need for a pharmacy? Is that it? Yeah, okay, I guess so. Great. That's all I need. Perfect. Uh, now we need a nurse. Increase diagnosis skills. Increase pharmacy skills. Seems impressive from a distance. <laughs> okay. Now let's try unpausing it. And he's going over to get his meds. Awesome. Now we have everything we need to diagnose and cure a simple illness. Let's see if our new staff are up to the task. It's a centrifuge. Nice. Sleeping in the corridors. 
Music is still way too loud. Thank you. Let's try there. Is that better? Great. Awesome! And we got 5k for that. Nice. And he's happy. Well done! We've cured our first patient, we've earned some money, and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. Uh, when a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in so we can expand the hospital. Stop announcement! We just cured our very first patient! Hospital reputation increases with each patient successfully cured, but decreases when a treatment fails, especially if a patient dies. A higher reputation attracts more patients and better staff for hire. Oh, what's this guy have? Grout. Cool. Now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with, deteriorate with use and will need repairing from time to time. If a machine falls into disrepair, it can be a fire hazard. Fires are generally considered uh, bad for business. Uh, hire a janitor maintain machines. While you're at it, make sure you've got some fire extinguishers nearby. Better safe than sorry, right? Okay. So first, let's hire a janitor. Whoa, look at all these perks, man. Allows janitor to upgrade machines. Allows janitor to detect and capture ghosts. This can help with research and allow us to reunite patients with their loved ones in a little jar. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess we should probably get the ghost one, right? Hygienic, funny, high energy, and their handwriting makes them seem boring. Sure. Yeah, you just do you, I guess. Uh, and then we also need a fire extinguisher. We'll stick one right there. Cool. Now, how do I close? There we go. Great. Oh, please, two fire extinguishers. Whoops. Um... Uh, we'll put the other one over here for now. Sure. Janitors will be called to repair machines when its maintenance level falls below 50%. You can also request that a janitor repair it immediately through the item options. It's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks, and a comfy seat when they're between appointments. If they become unhappy, they will leave and go to another hospital. Whoa, so we do have to make like a little, uh, a little waiting room. Okay, so let's do some benches. Do a drink machine. When first entering the hospital, please make your way to reception. And a leaflet stand. Great. Staff get tired as they work and will eventually go on a break. A staff room will help them relax and return to work energized. Drinks and snacks help keep them happy too. If you make a room larger and fill it with interesting items, it will be considered more prestigious. People using a high prestige room will become happier. A nice staff room will also help staff regain energy faster. Interesting. Okay. Um, where do I want to put the staff room, though? Let's put it... Here. Okay, we'll put in 
couch. Put in... Actually, they don't want that there. Let's put in some lockers. So they can put their stuff somewhere. Drink machine. Snack machine. Um, a bin. Caution. Always proceed with caution. Another sofa. Unlock for K. I don't know what K is. That looks interesting. I'm not sure. Good news, we've heard five patients in total. Nice. Bam. Okay. Boom! Yeah. Staff will head to a staff room when they're on a break. Fill the room with interesting items to help them become fully refreshed before their break ends. You can place a member of staff in a staff room to make them take a break, or in a workroom to make them work there. To pick up a member of staff, hover over them and hold the left mouse button. Ooh. Ooh. Holistics is apparently going to open another of its cool. nature communes for sick people. Oh, can I move myself to the right? Sense sure. Than money. Fortunately, I have equal amounts of sense and money. One sec. How's that? Charlie work. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there's no bins nearby. While we're at it, staff and patients will get pretty grumpy if they don't have access to any toilets. You might want to invest in some quality porcelain. Janitors will help maintain all of these. Restocking vending machines, sweeping up litter, emptying bins, and unblocking toilets. Okay, so let's actually do items and bins first. We're gonna throw a bin in each office. Um, let's also go ahead and throw a bin outside next to the vending machines. So I need to put in some bathrooms. Um, where do I want to put those? Probably somewhere near the waiting area. Um, remember to loot the toilets? Thanks, Reggae-san. See, it's always good to have old timers here that can keep me in line. Um, let's do, let's look at rooms. There's toilets. We could put it like right here. And there's not a lot of room, but it should be fine, I think. Um, yeah, should be fine. Toilet prestige level two. Nice. Okay. A sink. And a hand dryer. And a bin. By the door and, and by the hand dryer. Or by the... Uh, and of course a plant. And actually, maybe we should do two sinks. Oh, it actually shows you when you rank up the prestige. That's pretty cool. Okay, so, man, they really made this easy. All right, so that goes there. We'll do two plants on each side of that. We're going to do you and you. Perfect. Wait, build the toilet? Those don't count? Oh, do I have to build it? Do you want to sell one invalid items for 100k? Oh, 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 it's blocking the reception. Um, there we go. Okay, build that. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I think we're good. We're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room. If a GP isn't certain, they will send a patient for further diagnosis. General diagnosis unlocked. So we can pop it right here. Need a door. An easy scan. <laughs> As you expand the hospital with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. A larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. 
We may need to build more GP offices and other rooms and hire more staff to deal with the extra patients. Look out for queue warnings above rooms. You can also hover over a room to highlight people queuing for that room. Okay. On that note, though, yeah, that bro needs to get back to work. Time out. Back to work. There we go. You going in? Perfect, you are. Okay, great. Get hospital level to three, current level is two. Okay. Put that in there. Put this right here. Is that all I need? Put a bin. Uh, we already got a window, right? Great. Boop. Well done, the hospital level's increased. Keep expanding to attract more patients. Now, do I need to staff this? Nurse required. Okay. Ooh. Oh, you have increased diagnosis skill. Sure. There we go. Oh, the receptionist is taking a break. I didn't say you could take a break. Oh, maybe she's just getting a drink. Nope. I'm gonna let this play out. I could just move her back there. We hope you've enjoyed your stay, but please eventually leave. <laughs> hey, Cave. Uh oh. On a break for nine days? Maintenance required in GP's oh. office. Get to work. <laughs> yeah, apparently she's going on a stay staycation at work. My lord. Skitsy! Oh, dude, thank you for the 1500 cheers, Skizzity, and best of vibes to you, my friend. Happens to the best of us, man. Don't let it get to you too much. There will always be other people and good vibes to you. Thanks for your support. Camo Beckman, Beyond Steel's giving us up for Patrick and Reserve's giving Tremurda sub, Panzer Battalion, Duo Dice, Skizzy, uh, Skizzity, getting a sub from Wodrick. Awesome. We also have, uh, oh, by the way, anyone wondering about Cyberpunk, just check out the Cyberpunk command the mods are linking. Uh, the Bald Account, Bad Alchemist, good to see you. Blow up, Lozer or Die, Shaped Dionysus, Twaki, McDerp, Vitka, The Boatman with the 49 months. Thank you, man. And B Bowser with the 18 month epic sub. <gasps> Thank you for that. What's this? Treatment failed. Interesting. Hmm. Bummer. It happened so. What did that mean? Oh, she's waiting. Oh, maybe I need to put benches and stuff over here. What is going on here? Great, got another patient cured. Oh, we got some stuff to look at. Hold on. Oh, these are item controls. Okay. Misery guts? Chronic grumpiness due to a nihilistic semicolon? <laughs> we'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Chloe Tundra is ready for promotion from student nurse to junior nurse. Promotion from student nurse to junior nurse will provide training slot, movement speed, diagnosis skill, and treatment skill. Uh, sure. Promote. Great. Can we add like a, I feel like we should add a bench out here. There's a peculiar new illness in town, lightheadedness. We're gonna need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP's office and some more staff to keep on top of things. Let's see if that helps. Build another GP's office, well. Wow. Yeah, look at that, now he's sitting there, nice. Uh, okay, let's build another GP office. Uh, we can, we'll, we'll build it. Please go online to 
here. Right and review the hospital. Here. Now we'll do it here. Nurse to the pharmacy. Great. Now we need another doctor. Oh my god, look at this guy. Randy Guff. Yeah, you're too expensive. <laughs> Let's go with Hazel. <laughs> Terribly dull, but has an elegant back. Okay. Sounds good to me, man. Our doctors have diagnosed a patient with bed face, but it requires a ward for treatment. You should consider building one. A ward. Staff is a nurse. It's like a B&B &B without the breakfast. <laughs> okay. How big does it need to be? Minimum room size is 4-3. Okay. Um, no, I don't want to put it here. Let's put it over here. This would be a better spot. Hopefully that's enough. We'll see. Build not ready yet. Uh, fix invalid items. Oh. Is that good? Great. Okay, now we need another... Okay. Wards can be used for diagnosis and also to treat a range of illnesses. Um, how hyped am I for Kiwami 2? Oh, dude, I tomorrow is going to be amazing. Uh, <laughs> Um, a nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them, and discharge them when they are ready to leave. Add multiple beds to a ward to deal with more than one patient at a time. You can also adjust the number of nurses that should work there in the room setting. This is useful when you have a lot of patients. Cool. This hospital do, do, do. does not offer monetary support. Do, 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 do. Tires easily and cheese for brains? Yeah, no thanks. Nausea inducing? Makes people feel sick? Um. Oh wow, really? The, oh, the you're the best stuff blew out people's speakers. Oh, I will have to. Uh, sorry about that. I will have to look into that. That's super weird. Those sounds have never been a problem before. Hold on, guys. Got to run a test. Got to run a test. Hold on. Better? Hopefully that's better. Okay, uh, let's go with, um, yeah, good. Great. Awesome. Okay. Uh, thank you for that, Red. We'll go with this guy. He's a little bit gross, but you know what happens. The Two Point Health Ministry is keen to recognize the achievements of every hospital in the country. If we build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the local area, the hospital will be awarded an official star rating. This will be of great this will be great for our organization. Not only does each star come with associated rewards, but it will also allow us to establish new hospitals around the country. Continue to expand the hospital to acquire a one star rating. By completing objectives and challenges, our organization earns Kadash. You can use this to unlock items to use in any of our hospitals. Check the item list to see what we can afford. How cool. Okay. <laughs> oh. Cure three patients with lightheadedness. Okay. Oh, we need a bench out here. Is Ko still dressing up as Garomi for Kawami too? No, no, I'm not. Not I'm I'm dressing up as Koromi chan. Yes, that we are doing. All right, uh, this needs a light, a deluxe clinic is required. A deluxe clinic. This is a 3-3, three, three, so you can maybe put it over here. Although, I think I'm actually gonna make it a 3-4. Three, 3-4, four. Three, four, 
Just like that. Ooh, yeah, just like that. I really like how they made this uh, this little like bottom thing because it makes it super easy to tell exactly which way things are supposed to be facing, which I am digging. Okay, what do we need to uh, staff this with? Doc doctor required. Oh whoa, uh, 